met some business owners lately and uh, we were just kind of talking about the future employees you know we, we have the ones today but we're wondering ha huh, you know what will the employees be like in the next 10 years and you know definitely they were very very different from 10 to 20 years ago I mean those days when an employee would um, stay in a company for 10 years that's like oh you know oh, well, why so short uh, but now if you have a uh, an employee that stays in a company for three years you know wow, why so long and you know you've got those differences but you know in today's day and age I think a lot of employees youth uh, the future employees they're changing and that's why I created this video because that evolution is something that you know all of us have to be privy to so I really love to hear your comments uh, please pop them below uh, share with me how are employees changing and what are we gonna do about it uh, and I'd like to share with you what I've realized about employees so here it is number one future generations love using technology now if they spot some problem you know ah, you know there was a bit of miscommunication you know how come I did not receive that update you know uh, there was a little bit of an error you know or I couldn't track the project as well as I could they look to an app they look to an app to see if there's a piece of technology or a solution that could make this better that could make this problem go away you know, I know a lot of future employees as well say, oh, you know, I can't meet you at 5 o'clock, oh, I can't meet you at 10 o'clock, you know, how about Skype? How about Zoom? And then they use technology, they embrace technology just to say, hey, you know, you're in one part of the world, I'm in another part of the world, but hey, why don't we hop on, just have a chat for 20 minutes, and then boom, we can be on our way. But they would embrace technology and and that adaptability is something that's so important for business owners as well. Number two they are more proactive and they will voice out now this is very very important because you know if you get them doing a few steps you know you've got 10 steps to doing something they go into a bit of a questioning mode you know what's what's step five about mm, what's step seven about you know mm, and then once they do it a little bit and i'm not sure if you have had that experience they do it a little bit and they're going hmm boss can i propose something that can make us more efficient sure I think we can do away with step four I think we can do away with step eight I think we can combine step six and step seven you're going <gasps> and this is where this is a true test of your leadership are you ready to lead a culture of employees today and tomorrow that are gonna challenge you they're going to question the way things are. They're not questioning it because they disrespect us. They're questioning it because I think there is a more efficient and effective way of doing this. And if we just shut them down and just go, this has been the way we've been doing for the last 20 years, 30 years, and since my father's time, since my grandparents' time, this has been the way we've been doing it, they're gonna get very demotivated. I can tell you that's the quickest, fastest way to demotivate your youth your employees who are your employees for tomorrow they're gonna speak up they're gonna voice out and we as owners and leaders have to start taking a listening approach and number three one of the things that I started realizing about the uh, future employees and the evolution that's coming around is that number three they actually are very result focused our future employees are actually very result focused in a sense um, in the past there would be this kind of culture oh I work very very hard so therefore I deserve a raise that's the old employee the generations before but the generations today is what did I do that generate a result what do I need to do to create a result and they are more focused on results than we actually think now they want the kpis they want the kpis they want to see where they are you know how much have i got to do more you know how, how much more efficient have i got to do what are the standards and where am i versus the standard can you give me feedback can you tell me how i improve myself how do i get up and that's one of the things that i realized about the uh, the employees today, the young ones especially, they are very much focused on results versus the effort. And I'm not sure if you've had that experience, but in working with a lot of different youths in my company, um, interns, and they've been coming in and giving us a lot of great ideas, I found that 
you're more focused on the result and not so much the effort. So guys, I would love to really, this, this topic is endless, you know, and I know a lot of you out there, you're, you're, you kind of got di a lot of different experiences, some of the good, bad and ugly of working with youth and uh, evolving employees. I love to hear what you think. Pop them in the comments and we definitely love to have a chat with you. So guys, remember this, being in business is about having more life. Take care and I'll see you next week.